Happy Saturday, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Chris of Chris's Crafty, and today I just kind of wanted to talk and do some coloring. Um, as some of you may know, I did not put out a video last week due to the fact that the heating broke in my house, uh, and I had lost the editing and such that I had done on this video. Uh, so I was just having a bit of a week, but this week is a bit better. At the time of recording this, I still don't have heat, but that's okay because it's, you know, in the process of getting fixed. <laughs> anyway, I didn't want to sit here and complain about the lack of heat and whatnot. Uh, you know, for the next 10 minutes or whatever, I wanted to talk about crafting. I don't know about the rest of you, but I like to call myself a crafter. I do lots of various crafts, although unfortunately I am very bad at showcasing that fact. I know primarily on this channel, I have done art related things I've done unboxing related things because I'm obsessed with mystery boxes and I don't know what on here is actually considered crafting to be honest it's kind of funny because there's a lot of uh, art youtubers I watch who often do things that I would consider crafting uh, like things involving, uh, remaking or redecorating or, or glowing up, um, <laughs> uh, pieces of, of discarded, like thrift store makeovers. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I was trying to, I guess I was just trying to not outright say it to give to give it away but things like that and you know other types of similar makeovers I would consider to be crafting not exactly art but at the same time I would I guess I would also consider it art so why can't it be both I don't know but I know I mentioned that in a previous let's talk and paint like what really is the difference uh, between art and craft, uh, I still think that they're essentially the same. Maybe craft is a subgroup of art or vice versa, but I would love to hear your thoughts about this because it, it genuinely interests me. Like, what do people see as more art? versus crafts or can I use them interchangeably do you use them interchangeably how do you feel about um you know coloring is that art is it crafts is it art if you're uh drawing everything from you know a blank piece of paper or is it still considered art uh like what I'm doing here taking one of Jazz's uh, coloring pages from his Pro Artist Series kit and using uh, Arteza Everblend markers to color it in. Is that art? Uh, but I want to take a step back again. Back to crafts. I don't know about you. Crafts can be so much fun because uh, there's so many different types of, you know, different crafty things you can do uh, or different uh, fiber arts. You know, I think I would consider, I mean, those are fiber arts, but I would consider them, you know, also crafty. Um, so... Right now, actually, as I'm narrating this, I am knitting a temperature blanket. Do I knit? No. 
Have I tried before? Yes. I also have a crochet, <laughs> a crochet project, two of them on my desks, and a cross stitch project also on my desk. And I have some craft kits I haven't used yet, uh, so stay tuned for those videos. And plenty more. I've done needle punching on this channel. I've done embroidery on this channel. I've done those KiwiCo craft kits to try to learn new skills on this channel. And honestly, the one thing I've never talked about when it comes to crafting is how overwhelming it can actually be. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've ever felt this way, but when you find a new craft, if when you, you know, discover cross stitch, diamond painting, paint by numbers, uh, adult coloring books, um, maybe even dollhouse slash miniature making, etc. Are you the type of person that, you know, dips their toes in, tries a little something, maybe gets like a kit, and, you know, go from there, see if you like it kind of thing? Or do you just go like, you do a full-on cannonball in, you buy all the supplies you think you need, and then some more just in case... And then you kind of don't really do the project or you forget <laughs> of what you have. And then you buy more because you couldn't find it. And then life happens and those projects kind of, you know, <laughs> fall off the wayside. Because it happens to me all the time. I have a... a a butt ton of yarn. I have I have a lot of yarn. I have a lot of uh, embroidery thread. I have I have a lot of supplies. And sometimes I just sit there in a sort of craft paralysis, and I'm like, I d I don't know what to do. I don't know what I should be making. I don't know. I don't know what craft I even want to work on, which is why I have so many uh, works in progress, or whips, as one may call them. And I really want to know, does, does anybody else do this? Does anyone else get, like, crafting paralysis and just... They don't know what to do with their lives, basically. Their crafting lives. They get... Uh, you know, they go in, in in the deep end, and and then they just, you know, everything looks great. They get patterns for X Y Z. Uh, I have a lot of Amiga Rumi patterns that I want to do, and uh, you know, you just you don't start it, or you start getting on with a new hobby. Or maybe you just end up so busy that you can't. And if you've ever had similar thoughts, maybe you've also tried different things to actually get crafting. To actually m sort of motivate yourself, I guess. If, if there's anything that particularly helps you, I would love to hear about it in the comments. And it's not, it's not entirely that I'm specifically asking for help. But more so that I want people to, that may be watching, I want people who I, I know or, you know, not even that. I just want people to feel comfortable talking about the stuff like this because yeah on the one hand you're 
wall of fabric or yarn or project materials may look super impressive. <laughs> but on the other hand, do you ever get days when you're stuck? And, you know, you have a bunch of people saying, oh, you're so crafty, oh, you're so talented, but you kind of feel bad about it because you're not doing it all the time. Personally, I am trying to craft as much as I can. Even these year-long projects, my cross-stitch, uh, this temperature blanket. Even if it's something little, I, I try to add to it or do something. Like, complete a project, maybe. Every day, if I can. But at the same time, I try to make sure that I get maybe a weekend... Maybe a day, an evening, where I don't do anything. Because you need a break, too. You need to take care of yourself. Believe me, somebody who probably had coffee for breakfast and maybe has not had lunch yet today, <laughs> it's hard. So, this is Chris. Offering a hand. Offering an ear. Offering, you know, support. Because no matter what you're doing, you're doing it. You're doing well. You're getting there. You're trucking along. And everything's going to be great. I'll see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.